Hey everyone, we're diving into an exclusive hands-on with the upcoming iPhone 16 series. We got the standard iPhone 16, the 16 Plus, the 16 Pro, and the 16 Pro Max. These are non-functional units provided by case manufacturers to ensure their cases fit perfectly when the new iPhones are released. Special thanks to Sonny Dixon for helping us get our hands on these early models. Now, let's break down everything new with the iPhone 16 lineup. Starting with the standard iPhone 16, the biggest design change is the vertical camera module. This setup is reminiscent of the iPhone 12 but with a smaller camera island and the flash positioned outside. The camera modules themselves are slightly larger than those on the iPhone 15, measuring around 16mm compared to 15mm on the previous model. This suggests Apple might be using the same 48 megapixel sensors found in the iPhone 15 Pro and 14 Pro, optimizing their existing stock. Another significant change is the mute switch, which has been replaced with an action button similar to the iPhone 15 Pro. Interestingly, the action button on the iPhone 16 is smaller, contrary to rumors that it would be larger. We'll have to see if this design choice sticks in the final product. A new feature is the capacitive capture button designed for taking photos and videos. Unlike the physical buttons, this one gives haptic feedback and allows for various gestures like sliding to zoom or half presses for focusing. This is my favorite addition as it provides a more intuitive way to launch and control the camera. The iPhone 16 retains the same height and width as the iPhone 15 but is slightly thicker at 8mm, likely due to a larger battery. This year's model is rumored to have a 3561 mAh battery, about 6% bigger than the iPhone 15s. The iPhone 16 Plus also sports the new camera design and action button, with the same capacitive capture button. Despite its larger size, reaching the capture button with one hand is still challenging, suggesting Apple envisions two-handed use. The 16 Plus maintains the same height and width as its predecessor, but is thicker at 8 mm. Interestingly, it is rumored to have a slightly smaller battery than the 15 Plus, likely a move to encourage upgrades to the Pro Max. The iPhone 16 Pro has grown to a 6.3-inch display from the previous 6.1 inches, making it taller and wider. Despite these changes, it feels quite similar in hand. The typing experience should improve with the increased width. The Pro retains its 8.3mm thickness and is rumored to have a slightly larger battery at 3355mAh. The camera modules remain the same size at 16.1mm, but the ultra-wide sensor is expected to upgrade to 48 megapixels, and the telephoto lens will get the 5x zoom from the 15 Pro Max. The iPhone 16 Pro Max also sees a size increase, making it closer in dimensions to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. It's 77.6 mm wide and 163 mm tall, slightly taller and wider than the 15 Pro Max, but maintains the same thickness at 8.3 mm. The Pro Max is expected to have a significant battery boost to 4646 Ma. Camera-wise, it retains the same module sizes but will feature a new main sensor and the upgraded ultra-wide lens. Overall, the iPhone 16 series introduces notable improvements across all models, from the new action and capture buttons to camera upgrades and design refinements. The iPhone 16 Pro Max and enhanced battery and camera capabilities stand out. Which feature are you most excited about? Let us know in the comments.